Harlan, Erling Harlan has been linked heavily with Manchester United and with Dortmund and with every other club across Europe. Do you think he'll make his way there? Do you think Manchester United is the right club for him? And is he the answer yeah. to Manchester United's problems? Given that scoring goals hasn't been too much of an issue yeah. so far this season. Well, it, it makes sense. I, f I believe he's worked with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer before. He has at Mulder. So they, they, they've got that connection already. So it makes sense. Man United, as we just touched on before, a very big, big club. Um, they certainly need to do something. Whether he's the answer, I don't know. Obviously, the level that he's scoring a lot of goals at is totally different to the Premier League. You know what I found interesting? I was listening to an interview with David Priest. Now, he's a, he's a goalkeeper. He's actually based out in Sweden, so he's quite abreast with everything happening mm -hmm. in uh, the Scandinavian countries. And he was regaling a story about why he joined Molde in the first place. He wanted to go to another club, but his dad, Alfie Inge Harlan, didn't yeah. allow it because there was a rivalry. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Alfie Inge Harlan, Alfie as you well know, is Mr. Leeds United. Is yeah. Mr. Leeds United. Yes. Now, he stopped his son from joining a rival club but could he do the same here with Manchester United? Not a chance. I mean, Leeds are in a good position under Bielsa, potentially getting promoted to the Premier League. You've got the chance of going to Manchester United or Leeds United at this moment in time. Alfie would not he stop He would not him. stand in his son's way. The only time I think Alfie would stop him and stand in his son's way for this would be if Roy Keane was still there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Have you spoken because to... Because of that challenge. Yeah. Have you spoken to Alfie Ingerhalen about his son? No, I haven't. No, we haven't. Uh, lost, lost contact, but... Um, like I say, I, I know his, his son is a Leeds fan as well. So yeah. He looks a player. He does? He does. He, does. he, he looks, looks very, very good. Mm. I mean, obviously, there's question marks about doing it in other countries and then doing it in, in England, but he's done it in the Champions League. Yeah, that, true. That's the key thing, right? I true. mean, he's done it at, at yeah. Europe's highest stage. Is he one for the future, do you feel? Well, one that you have to keep an eye on, one that can live up to the billing, of which we do that well, a lot. He's got a buyout clause yeah. as well, which is not a lot of money for some with the amount of goals yeah. that he's scoring in yeah. the Champions yeah. League. I mean, it, what is it, seven and a half? Yeah. Is it... Seven, it's seven. it's about apparently it's twenty again reportedly it's twenty million but there's also yeah. the additional buyout clause of Mino Raiola. You got to get the agent on side and oh, okay. pay him his fee as okay. well. Which so that's another twenty mil at least. <laughs> yeah. Ask yeah. Paul Pogba. I, I, yeah. I think when you consider the the number of top clubs that are looking at him at the moment, the general belief is he's going to be a hit. Mm. So can United secure him? Do you mm. think they can? I think they can, of course. Yeah. Do you they, think they, they have will. the financial clout? Will they though? Um, I, th you can, you I can't think, answer that. Can they, you? I think they, I think yes, they yes. need to to continue to strengthen the squad to bring in better players, and I think he would he would certainly bring them something extra. Um, there's some other reports saying that uh, perhaps he should be going to another club first before taking a jump to the massive mm. behemoth of a club, which is Manchester United, say a Dortmund. One which doesn't really keep their players for too long. They tend to sell on their players. Yeah, but that's taking a risk, really, because if he goes to Dortmund and he doesn't do it, his valuation goes down and, and you know... Oh, it goes a, up. It's a in, risk. And the, the, attraction, the attraction to sign him is, oh, well, we've done it there, but he couldn't do it there. So yeah. how's he going to do it in the Premier League? So, end of the day, he's a young man. So you go into um, Man, man United, you'd expect him to be there for many years. He's got time to become the player that he's going to become because at the moment you're buying potential even mm. though he is scoring goals for his age. So, you know, it's a good environment to learn and, and obviously the connection with um, Solskjaer already just makes sense. I'll throw in Jadon Sancho. It's worked out for him. He went to Dortmund from City. Yeah. And now, I mean, his profile, his stock has gone from here yeah. all the Frank, way up to here. Go and get him. <laughs> Go and get him, Frank. There's a little bit of a link with him, with Chelsea at the moment. Go you, and get him. I you, think he's you, quality. You think he should belong? He belongs at Chelsea now. You I, think I'd that? I'd like to. See, and he is a Chelsea fan as well. You know, admittedly himself. So that's another one that makes sense. That's so you know, of, coming back to England. That's a lot of dollar. Oh yeah. It's, it's, I the last we heard was 120. Got, it, yeah. it fluctuates, but yes. Yeah, it's, it's, there's, it's, there's different routes to the top, isn't there? Yeah. You know, and and we mentioned I think yesterday about you know a couple of players who were at Chelsea. And it didn't work out for them. Mm. Mo Salah was at Chelsea. De Bruyne. De Bruyne, De Bruyne was at Chelsea. Different routes. They, they, so, yeah. so they've had to go elsewhere to, to come back and hit the, the real heights of the Premier League. And Alfie's got a chance of skipping that to go... Not Alfie, sorry, his son. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a chance of skipping that and going to, you know, potentially... War well, 1 used to be one of the biggest clubs in the world in Manchester United. Can you... I think they still are the biggest club in can, the world. Can, can, he, can he... Rumbled in my disagree. Can he sacrifice yeah. that? No, I don't think he can. OK.